Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about managing variables in branches. It's worth noting this is an organization or enterprise only feature, but because I've been using this inside this video series, I thought I'd show you how I'm managing them. In the last video, we looked at publishing variables, and now we're going to look at the branch that I've been working in the future updates inside. In my tabs at the top, I have this creation, which is actually a branch within the main file. I can see that because the branch icon in the top section. You'll also see in the bottom right hand side, there's an updates available from main file toast. If I click update, you can see the change that we made in the last video. The red 300 has changed to blue rather than red. What I'm actually going to do now is actually keep the branch. So I'll click a keep branch button and confirm my pick. This now keeps my branch up to date and resets the main change that we did have. In the top section, I'll drop the menu down and go to review and merge changes. What this will now do is show everything that we've made in the branch that's not currently available in the main file. In the top section, you'll see it says my first variable 57 changes. This is because we've basically been doing all of our variable work inside that branch. Scrolling down, I can see every single change across files, frames, collections in this file here. Across different pages too. So if I look at the radius, you'll see it says added. This is an entirely new collection for radius. Booleans, entirely new collection for the Booleans, etc., etc. The primitive color collection has actually been deleted. So all the ones that we were using before with that change has been removed anyway, hence keeping the branch. Component color has been removed. Primitive sizes have been removed. Semantic color has been edited. So now that BG danger has changed. The primitives have been added as well, with all these new colors that we created in the assets from before. You can see all the different frames that have been added in here too, and I can collapse these down by page if I want to, just so we can see all the different options that we have. In the primitive globals page, primitive size has been updated. So there's lots of changes in here in my branch, and what I now want to do is merge that branch into the main file so I can start using the variables in my design files. You can't currently publish a branch, which means any variables that we do want to use inside our design files need to originally live inside the main file. So let's go and merge it. I've clicked merge. What's now happening in the background is merging my changes from the branch into the main file. It's jumped me back into the main file and I can add a merge description if I wanted to. If I open up the version history, on the right hand side, you'll see the merge changes that's happened. Grant, branch created, branch merged. If I open up the local variables, we now get all these new collections that we've created from the branch inside that main file. If I now go and publish, you'll see there's 13 changes. The collections have changed and the components have changed. If I go to publish, this will now make all those variables available in the design file that I was originally using in the previous video. So if we head back, no changes. If I open up my panel, you can see all those variables are now available for me to use inside that design file. So that's how I've been using the branches in this video series, create them, merge them, publish them, and consume them. See you in the next video.